Shalom and good day all, this is the Healing Zoom tonight, back again for another DC review, and in this DC review, I'll be covering Superman issue 12 and World's Finest issue 25. I'll now get things organized for the first one that I'll be reviewing. So as we move into the first one, which is Superman issue 12, does this cover in any way, shape or form connect to something that is happening inside or with the story? Uh, in some essence it does, to try to give it a 7 out of 10. Now it's time to move into the area of the internal art, <clears throat> as we have a look around the beginning, middle, and of course the end, and also what's happening story-wise with the characters. So as the story, or as we have a look around the beginning of the story, we have the character of Lex Luthor uh, helping out Superman against one of his enemies, or one of his own villains of sorts, uh, of um, the Superman, um, the Lex Luthor Revenge Squad. As we advance a little bit further, uh, we do get to see a little bit more happening because we have Lena Luthor uh, going up against Super, oh, should we say Super Lex? <laughs> in, uh, um, Lex Luthor in a Superman Corp, um, I guess, mech costume of sorts, to which he's also getting some help from Mercy as well as Lois Lane and many others that are now running Supercorp, and last but not least, towards the end, Twitch, Dr. Farm, and um, Fingo Grant, uh, Graft, uh, Mr. Graft, uh, eventually thrown into basically Strikers Island prison, so they're basically now side by side where um, Fingo is, or where Lex Luthor is back, so for the internal art, I give it a 7 out of 10. Now it's time to move in relation to the area of the story. Considering how far we are, um, starting off with first things first, do we get any comic references to any of the previous issues? No, we don't. Next is the area of time, to which we get nothing once again at all in relation to that. It would help to include it, especially if um, Superman is doing a lot of his things uh, throughout the day, because you could include... Uh, from probably about 9 to 10 a.m. to about 5 p.m. So you could show it at a, like a 9 to 5 work schedule as to when he's working throughout the time. Um, next is location. We have Supercorp in Metropolis. We also have Smallville being visited um, in regards to a what looks to be a flashback with, I think it's uh, Lex Luthor and a young Clark Kent. And uh, we've got Lex Luthor with his red hair, I believe. Next is the cast of characters. We have Superman, Clark Kent, Lex Luthor. Um, we have Dr. Farm and Mr. Grant. Lois. Uh, we also have Parasite make an appearance, along with um, Brainiac at the end. For the overall story reading in this, I give a 7 out of 10. Now it's time to move into World's Finest, issue 25. So as we jump into World's Finest, issue 25, does this cover in any way, shape, or form connect to something that is happening inside with the story? In some essence it does, to which I give a 7 out of 10. Now it's time to move into the area of the internal art as we have a look around the beginning, middle, and of course the end. And also what's happening story-wise with the characters. So as the story begins, things start off in Gotham City, to which we get to see the Joker being taken to Arkham Asylum. To which, who's waiting for him at Arkham Asylum? But Lex Luthor. So from there we have some shenanigans take place with Lex Luthor and the Joker. And as we start to jump towards the middle of the story, we get to see what Lex Luthor is actually after, um, being this particular item that we see. 
And last but not least, towards the end, which we get uh, visitors from the fifth dimension, uh, being Mix, Mixopitalik, uh, Batmite, and of course we do happen to have a green um, lantern version of one of the Batmites, so a green lantern mite which is going to be very interesting to see what will take place in the next issue. So for the internal art, I give it a 7.5 out of 10, as it was actually quite fun, and it worked well with the story. Moving into the next area, and that is the rating of the story itself. So considering how far we are, did we get any comic references? No, we didn't. Next is the time, to which we have years ago come up. The locations we had were Gotham City, Metropolis, the Fortress of Solitude. Uh, of course, we had the Batcave. Next is the cast of characters, to which we had Superman, Batman, the Joker, Lex Luthor. Uh, we did end up seeing Robin in there. We had Batmite and Mix Peterlick. And, of course, a Green Lantern Mite, uh, to which we'll probably learn more about in the next issue. Uh, for the overall story rating, I give it a 7.5 out of 10. Until then, let's keep it colourful and have yourself an awesome day.